tell you a short story about the wife and I were out. Um, we went to have lunch last week. Uh, I can't remember what day it was, but it was a, uh, a new um, Chinese restaurant that, we, that she found. And we went to have uh, something, you know, t to get something to eat. Um, there was this guy sitting outside the restaurant who was obviously in need. Um, I walked because I had the, uh, the my wife had bought some extra uh, food to take home, um, to bring home for her mom and her sister. As I was heading back over there, I noticed my wife had already started walking back towards him. And so she started talking to him. She got to him before I did. And she asked him, was he hungry? And he said, yeah. So I know that she was intentionally or intending to give him some of the food that she had purchased to take home. But he he said, um, well, I don't really like that, you know, the Chinese food. So he wanted to go. There was a, a pizza place in the mall that we were at. Uh, this, it was a, like a strip mall outside. So, you know, he told her that and he showed her where it was. And so he went on ahead and walked over to the store when we jumped in the car because we were about to head home anyway. And I drove over um, and parked in front of the pizza place and we went in with him. My wife, he let him order what he wanted and then she paid for it. Um, and it's because we wanted to make sure, excuse me, she, she wanted to make sure that he could sit in the restaurant and eat his food and not have to eat it outside. And so the, uh, uh, the person behind the counter, I don't know if it was the owner or whatever, uh, agreed to that and let him sit. Yes, I understand. He said, and it's okay. So we paid for his food and then we left. So I guess I'm saying that to say, you know, my wife's like a four foot ten um, woman. And, you know, she's like, you know, so she was not afraid to help this person, to walk up to him, engage in a conversation with him, find out what he needed and then oblige him by by purchasing him a meal. Even though I had already given him, actually I did give him the money that I um, <clears throat> that I walked over to give him, and I, I didn't have a problem with giving him that and having her buy him a meal, because those are, these are the things that we should be doing in our communities. Um, yeah. So if you run across somebody that needs help, try to find a way to help them. Now I'm sure she felt emboldened to do that because I was there with her. And she felt safe. There were other people that just walked right by this guy. Uh, one woman even told us that, oh, yeah, he's here every day. So if she knows he's there every day, but her and her husband walked right past this guy, didn't even stop to say hi or bye or boo, you know. It just, you know, those these are the kind of things I'm talking about. I mean, and I don't want to preach to anybody. I just think that, you know, we all have family brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts, cousins, whatever. We all have family. And imagine someone in your family being in that situation. You would want someone to help them. Be that person. Again, thanks. Thanks for your time.